Footage in this video was filmed at the Charm Year 3 Plugfest held at University Laval on June 10th, 2014. In this video, we demonstrate a physical human-robot interaction for an automotive door assembly task, demonstrating explicit and implicit gesture recognition, overall system operation with state machine controller and planner, 3D sensing for part pose estimation and human worker tracking, and integration infrastructure for data transfer between system modules. At the start of this demonstration, a worker assumes an augmented T-pose with his arms lifted up and slightly forward to allow the vision system to capture and begin tracking the worker's position and orientation within the workspace. The vision system acquires and tracks the worker using a calibrated array of four Microsoft Connect sensors, which are also able to generate a 3D representation of the workspace. Worker acquisition is achieved through the fitting of a skeleton to detect point cloud data recorded by the Connect Array as shown on the television. Once the worker is being tracked, a KUKA LWR robot arm mounted on an industrial assist gantry is automatically tasked to retrieve the first part on the assembly manifest for installation, while the worker performs other tasks on the door. With part in hand, the robot gantry system moves towards the worker, ready for part handover. The robot can be repositioned by the worker with ease to bring the part closer to the door if necessary. The worker easily retrieves the first part through a smooth robot-to-human handover. As the worker receives and performs installation of the first part, the robot leaves the workspace and prepares to fetch the next part on the assembly manifest. The robot fetches the next part from the kit based on instructions from the assembly manifest and presents it to the worker. As the worker retrieves the part, he notices that the part is not suitable for installation. He disposes of it in a part disposal bin. Through the vision system, the robot recognizes that the part just handed over to the worker was disposed. Thus, the robot fetches a replacement part for the one that was just discarded as the worker continues working on the door. The robot is now ready to hand over the replacement part to the worker. Since the part is rather heavy, the worker decides to guide the arm closer to the door for easier part installation before retrieval. With the final part having been installed by the worker, assembly of the door is now complete and both the worker and the robot system leave the workspace. In addition to technologies highlighted in the demonstration, work has been performed in the area of part pose estimation, where a PrimeSense Carmine camera mounted to the KUKA LWR arm is used to detect orientation of parts for applications such as determination of grasp solutions and part locations. Here we see the system's representation of the part pose with respect to several coordinate frames within the world. Part pose determination can be achieved irrespective of movements or location of the camera. Work had also been done to improve the physical human-robot interaction element of the system, where we enabled users to interactively and intuitively control the robot's position through virtual viscous damping of coordinated robot and gantry behaviors. During our demonstration, we invited several representatives from General Motors, University of Laval, McGill University, and the University of British Columbia to interact with the robot system. Our first guest was Jim Wells, senior staff researcher at General Motors who tested the physical interaction component of the demonstration.
Next, we had Dr. Justin Gamage, Chief Scientist at General Motors Canada, test both the compliant behavior and part handover capabilities of the robot system. Here, Dr. Elizabeth Croft, Professor and Principal Investigator of the CHARM project, tests the compliant nature of the robot gantry controller. Thank you for viewing this presentation. Technologies showcased in this video were jointly developed by the University of British Columbia, University of Laval, and McGill University. Funding for this research was provided by General Motors Canada and the Natural Sciences and Engineering Research Council of Canada. For more information on this project, please visit charm.sites.olt.ubc.ca.